Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Please hit that thumbs up button to show your support. This is why narcissists are always so angry. Narcissists are never happy. They are always in a bad mood. Yet sometimes they will make an effort to pretend like they're having a good time. Especially once they've discarded you and they're triangulating you with their new supply. Because they already know that they have a problem. And they know that you can see it. They know you know that they can never be happy. So they create this facade where they've moved on with their new source. And they're so much happier without you. When the reality is that they're still mad. And they're mad because they're envious and jealous of you. They can't stand you. Because they believe that you're a far better person than they are. And to be honest, they would say that what they believe is true. Because you're an authentic person. Well, they're not even a complete human. They're fake. They're fraudulent. So all they can do is manipulate and deceive. All they can do is gaslight you. Because they don't want you to think of yourself in correct, well-grounded and reasonable terms. Which is why they have to resort to gaslighting. Where they manipulate you using psychological methods into questioning your own memory, perception and sanity and powers of reasoning to make you think that you're losing your grasp on reality when in fact they just can't tolerate the true reality they don't want anything to do with it at any time that you're entertaining it it triggers them to reflect on how worthless they feel in comparison to you so they have to try to gaslight you out of reality by minimizing and representing you at less than your true value and importance through the use of invalidation and inducing feelings of confusion within you which is why they will create an environment that lacks order because they want you to be unable to think clearly where you're in a daze or in a fog and everything is chaotic, muddled and clear and untidy where you feel like you can't make sense of anything because they're making you feel confused about what is logical and what is reasonable and this isn't just a strategy that they're using to manipulate you. It's more than a set of tactics or a maneuver. It's actually a way of life for them. Because they have been gaslighting themselves their entire lives. Their entire life is a lie. They're dishonest about who they are. So rather than showing up as themselves, they chose to create an alternate reality with a false self because they believe that their true self is not good enough and that they could never be anything significant in the true reality. So they created a false reality where they continuously imply that they are the ones who should be in charge. And then they have to get you to believe in their lies and fabrications. When the reality is that their life is built on a lie and they want to bring you into their false and misleading way of living because that is the only way that they can feel comfortable around you. By constructing a false character for themselves, which is omnipotent, wealthy, successful, desirable, attractive, or whatever else they deem to be a source of power for themselves, while stripping you of everything that you are, and constructing another false character, which is ineffective and inadequate, which they then assign to you. And this is their world of make-believe, where they find pleasure in believing things that are not true, because it provides them with a source of comfort and stability, and it makes them feel like they're something, when the true reality is that they are not. They're just pretending that things are better, different, or more exciting than they really are, instead of facing up to reality because reality is too painful for them to accept. 
They don't want to live in a world where they are nothing and nobody. And you're the king or the queen or a celebrity, even though that may be the true reality. It's just something they don't want to accept. So they lie to themselves. They've been lying to themselves their entire life. And you may have discovered that they've also been lying to you. They've led you to believe that you are less than who you actually are. Because they're envious and jealous. And they can't stand the fact that they are nothing in comparison to you. And they will never be on your level. Which is why they have to resort to manipulation, lies and gaslighting. Because they have to create their own little world of make-believe. Where they are somebody special. And you're meant to admire or envy them for whatever reason. When in fact, the opposite is true. And that is why they go out of their way to try to prove this to you. Because they're actually very insecure. Especially when they're around you. They already know that you're greater than them in every way. But if they can manage to trick you into thinking otherwise, it validates their illusion. And in that moment they experience a state of euphoria and bliss. As they share the very fantasy and illusion that they have induced in you. And this is where they want to trap you. They don't ever want you to awaken from the spell. They want to continue to manage your perceptions of them so that they can continue to get supply. Even though it's all fake, it's all a lie. They're not who they say they are. They've been gaslighting themselves their entire lives. And they've been gaslighting you because you are so much greater than what they've led you to believe. And they don't want you to know that. Which is why they seem to become these skilled manipulators illusionists and even magicians where they're casting all sorts of Jedi mind tricks and spells in an attempt to prevent you from awakening to the truth so that they can keep you locked in this alternate reality where you can't be you and you're just whoever they wish whoever they wish they could be it's like Cinderella you may be very kind or very beautiful but you will be verbally abused and gaslighted by the narcissist into thinking that you're so much less than who you actually are because they're envious and jealous of you and in a lot of ways they may wish they were you which is why you may find that they mimic a lot of the things you like or do they try to be just like you while denying you of the space to be yourself because they don't want you to be you they want to be you and they want to dominate and control anything that you are interested in. They will act like they're into that now, just because it makes you look good. Or because it's something unique that you enjoy. Now they've got to claim ownership over that and try to bring it into their realm because they recognize it as a source of power and authenticity for you. And they can't stand you having anything or being anything because they're so mad and envious of you. So they just want you to have nothing and be nothing. And they want anything and everything that is meant to be connected to or related to you. Because they literally want to be you. They see you as being superior to themselves. So they have to bring you down and try to distort everything. Because the truth and reality puts them at a great disadvantage. So they gaslight themselves and they gaslight you. They make you believe that their needs are more important than yours. They put themselves in a competitive and superior position over you and they make you believe that it's your job to cater to their demands as though what they feel is more important than what you feel and they see their feelings as facts so whatever they feel becomes the truth. They lie to themselves by telling themselves that it's reasonable for them to control you but they don't want you to control them because you're not as wise or as aware as they think they are and in their minds, their judgments, decisions and conclusions are unquestionably accurate. So you can't tell them anything because they expect you to meet their expectations, not the other way around. 
So they just see it as a waste of time to even consider your feelings, interpretations or beliefs. Because all they want is your blind loyalty. They want your unquestioning commitment to them. Without criticising their beliefs, actions and consequences that are associated with that allegiance. So they, they, they expect you to follow and support them regardless of any negative and harmful aspects. And then they try to convince you that you should not trust yourself to get you to go along with their way of thinking and behaving. But by doing that, they're gaslighting you and they're gaslighting themselves because they just don't like reality. It doesn't serve them. Because it doesn't give them what they want in the moment and that's all they really care about. They don't care about what happens afterwards, which is how they will always end up reframing what you think and feel to try to get you to think that you're the problem because they're like children in adult bodies. They can't deal with any accountability. They get angry when things don't go their way, but their anger is often used to distract attention from something more important, which is the fact that they're very insecure. And that is why they can't deal with the thought of your free thinking or independent decision making. Just the thought of that might make them fly into a rage because they don't want you to have your own feelings and preferences. They don't want you to be who you actually are because it makes them feel inferior in comparison. It makes them feel so small and insignificant, which is why they will often unload their unrequested opinions and commentary onto you to try to establish some level of significance and relevance, which is really just brainwashing where they're pressuring you into adopting radically different beliefs by using systematic and forcible means. Because they just want to keep you looking to them for the answers, which is why they will often mock and ridicule you. Because they don't want you to think and decide for yourself. They will minimize your other sources of influence, whether it's your friends, family or anyone else. They will say it's because they just don't know or they don't understand or they will say that they told them something and they don't think the way that you think you the way you think they do to try to undermine your idea or understanding of people supporting you because they want you to feel like you're on your own they don't want you to feel like you have any support because they want to be the ones to tell you who you are and what you feel as well as your inter interpretations and preferences when none of it really makes any logical sense because it's all built upon them gaslighting themselves. It has no basis in reality, but they don't care about reality. They just want to minimize you and exaggerate anything that they think is good about themselves so that they can pull you into their alternate reality because they're terrified of the truth. They're terrified of people who they perceive to be different from themselves. And that is why they don't want to fit in with your wishes or needs or try to cooperate with you. Because then that would mean that they would have to be vulnerable. And that's something they're not able to do because they're just too afraid and they're very insecure. But instead of accepting that, they'd rather blame your interpretations. There's really no point trying to bring the truth to a narcissist because it's only going to make them mad. They're quite clearly deeply invested in their lies and fabrications. So it's highly unlikely that you will ever be able to pull them out of that. Instead, just remind yourself of what you know to be true. Because if you made it to my videos, you're clearly grounded in reality. So just remind yourself of what you know about the people around you and their situations or their state of affairs and just trust your own ability to judge people and things well. There's no need to argue with them or try to prove your point. When you're secure in your own beliefs, you won't feel any need to do that. And instead you can let them continue on their own in their alternate reality. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
share your thoughts in the comment section, hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.